This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. Woo! Oh my god! It shuts down the run. Gets instant sacks. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. And interceptions all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using results like this, got it. stick around after the intro. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and custom defensive ebooks. But if you guys use team playbooks, you can also find them in the Niners offense and the Raiders defensive ebooks as well. And if you guys want more help and more money plays, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pin comment. For today's gameplay, I have another league game against another tough opponent in the 7-4 Buffalo Bills. Last week, I took my worst loss of the season, and I'm now riding a two-game losing streak, with the first loss being the result of a sim. But it's still two losses. Losses. So I was really looking to get back on track with a big game. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. I started this game out on defense, and the formation that I'll be using again today is once again the 3-3 odd, as this is the best defense in the game to use right now, and I have some brand new setups to show you guys. For my coaching adjustments, the most important thing is to turn auto alignment to base to hide your coverages, and to turn auto flip off so that you can flip the play in the huddle. For my substitutions, I just want speed on the field, most importantly at the middle line spots as I use Nolan Smith as both my main blitzer and user since he has the best combination of speed acceleration and change of direction out of any of the linebackers on my roster I also put Sidney Brown at the other linebacker spot since he has the best man coverage of any of my safeties as I like to man him to the running back and tight end a lot the first drive is always the toughest though as I usually play it safe early until I can figure out what my opponent likes to do on offense so I usually start off in some more vanilla passive coverage style defenses like my cover one man and my cover for drop setups that I put out in the past, as these defenses don't get a ton of pressure, but at least they let me study my opponent's tendencies as I make some plays here and there before he works his way down the field and eventually scores on the opening drive to send me a message early. God damn it! On offense, I'm going to be using my I-Form close scheme once again, as this is probably my favorite ball control offense in the game, but I will mostly be focusing on defense in this video. I already made full breakdowns of the offense and defense in this gameplay though, so if you guys want to see more, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of this video, so stick around for that. I want to pound the rock, but based on my opponent aggressively pressing, I decided to take a shot early with the PA tight end leak. Break yourself, fool! You got most! And the coverage was there. But I just made a better adjustment. Back on defense, I almost get an interception at the start of the next drive. What? But my linebacker doesn't jump, and it results in a 50-yard gain before Josh Allen is making Josh Allen-type plays going right down the field on me. So I decided to get more aggressive, and this is where the game turns in my favor. Last week, I put out a gameplay where I used a cover three blitz concept from this defense that Henry used to win the Madden Challenge Championship this year from the cover three buzz. Only today, I'm going to be using the cover three cloud, as I find this is just a better coverage in general. The setup is still the same, as you want to flip the play in the huddle then pinch the entire defense by pressing the R1 or the R1 button and down on the left stick before blitzing one of the middle linebackers and positioning them behind the defensive tackle so that their blitz angle is facing this direction. In that video I said that I like cover three because it allows me to set up this Mabel concept quicker as I can still get pressure by sending just four or even three defenders but regular cover three is vulnerable up the seams in a way that this defense is not taking away one of the biggest weaknesses of this coverage. So when I use this defense I just like to put the outside linebacker on a curl flat to create the same Mabel concept to the open side of the field and nothing gets open as we almost get a sack the first time using this play. Woo! And that hit was so devastating that it took away his opportunity to even get a first down after that. Seriously though, what just happened? My biggest issue with zone coverage in general is that it doesn't really cover RPOs very well, but this defense has a hard flat defender that can really help out if it's on the right side. Before I run it for the third straight time and you can see how the middle linebacker screams right through the middle as we get the stop and hold him to a field goal this this time but he really only got a few yards against this particular defense back on offense my opponent is already worried about my deep passing game which is probably
probably what I'm best known for. So he comes out in a small dime normal defense. So anytime someone does this, I'm just going to make him pay for it on the ground before he gets me to a third down. And I see that he is sending the house in an obvious man zero blitz. So I switch to the PA tight end leak once again, only this time I motion across this receiver so I can throw to really either one of them. <laughs> But Quez Watkins is always my go-to as we take the lead. Do it! Back in defense, I'm always careful not to overuse that blitz. So I try to mix up my defenses and hide my cover one man on the next play since my auto alignment is still set to base. But he sees it and tries to beat it with a wheel route. How about new? The only problem is that I have my 98 speed 6 foot 2 Keely Ringo in coverage as we get the interception and a good return to get it to the 40 yard line right at the edge of field goal range. He gets a sack on the first play to push me back so I run on the next play to get back into range to the 38 before I dot the speed out route to just barely get the first. And then I just go right back to pounding the rock as Swift scores his 22nd touchdown of the season to take a two possession lead close to half. From here I'm going to use a brand new defense that I've never shown before in the cover to man as I mostly use this for prevent and deep passing. The setup is very easy as I will base align to show my hand on defense or you could just take the auto alignment off and just leave it at default before using the outside linebacker over the middle and spreading my defensive line and guessing pass for a better pass rush. I find this defense is actually a pretty good run defense as well against shotgun formations where you really only see inside zones. Since I spread the defensive line, it typically does a pretty good job of edge containment, while the three linebackers in the middle do a pretty good job of filling these rather large gaps, making this a solid run defense. And you can see that nothing is really open on the next play as he forces a deep pass to a receiver that was working his way back to the quarterback. Gotcha, bitch! And I just use her and jump the route. Out. And now I only have some seconds to score with only one timeout left. So I start with a drag route to get out of bounds before I hit the sideline on a corner route to get inside the five. And I finish the drive by hitting a speed out route to punch it in for another score before halftime. He tries an onside kick to start the second half and now it's getting ugly as I have a short field to just pound the rock before I get a big carry and DeAndre Swift scores his 23rd touchdown of the season which is already good enough for 6th all time on the record boards. And now that I know that he has to pass, I'm calling the cover 3 cloud as I get an instant sack on the next play to push him back to 2nd and 20, before running it again on the next play to get the exact same results, only this time resulting in a safety. On offense, I'm just running clock, but I have to pass from time to time just to keep him honest, before going back to demoralizing his unit on the ground for another long score. With the game feeling like it's being out of reach quite a bit, I decide to go back to my prevent cover for drop once again, and he goes right back to having more success like he did earlier in the game. I still get some good plays like this one that probably should have been an interception, but then I switch to cover one man and he scores another touchdown for the first time since his first drive. So this defense is clearly better. I almost throw a pick six to start the next drive too, but I barely make the tackle to save the touchdown before getting an interception at the goal line to get the ball right back and then get another huge run the next play to take whatever is left out of this team's spirit. He could go all the way 95 yards. Before I go right back to that cover three cloud blitz to push him back inside the 10 once again, before using it one more time to get another safety with Nolan Smith, who is currently the front runner for defensive player of the year, defensive rookie of the year, and linebacker of the year while leading the league in sacks. All that largely thanks to this defense. In fact, my entire team is leading the league in sacks by so much from using this blitz that I doubt anyone will catch me by the end of the season. The game is pretty much over, but I get a few more scores to put up my highest scoring total of the season once again by one whole point for the third time this year, which is really impressive considering that this guy had a top 10 defense going into this game, but not anymore as we improve to 8-3 and, and get back on track. So that's that video. If you guys want to see more league games, please make sure to be a subscriber. And if you want to see more from the offense and defenses I was using in this gameplay, I will have links to the full breakdowns popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. We should out.